Hey guys, it's Shatterguard here with another Arsenal update. Um, I found an Airsoft M16, old, beat up, doesn't shoot, broken, the stock was missing. Um, and so I scalped it, or at least am in the process of doing that. All I've done so far is get the barrel. I have this part off of the barrel. I'm sorry, my shirt kind of darkens it out. Let me move. Um, but it's the basic barrel piece for the M16. Um, I also took the very front piece and hot glued it onto this recon barrel. It won't shoot anymore because if you can see, I don't think you can, you can't see it, but um, this is made for airsoft and so this is indented in so the dart won't go through. I'm never going to use this barrel anyway so I just figured screw it and I've just hot glued this on. I think it looks pretty cool. It'll be neat to use in a movie or something. And I might take it off. I mean, it's not like it's on. I haven't epoxied it or anything, so it's not like it's on there forever. But, um, and with this piece, this part right here was broken, so I had to hot glue it back together. I'll probably end up gluing this around, like cutting it into four different pieces and gluing it onto the sides of the recon barrel, but I haven't quite decided. Um, and the big thing is this. This is my master key attachment. This is just the long strikes attachment piece. This is made out of long shot barrel extension. Um, I've removed the air restrictor in this thing. And even though the spring is pretty weak, it gets very good ranges. Almost as good, if not better, than my Tiger Maverick or my Wideout Maverick. So very nice ranges for this thing. It's only it's a single shot with re chamber, um, and it's got a key ring trigger. Like I said, I was originally going to epoxy this onto my Raider pistol, like right here, but I decided against that because I didn't want to increase the size of my Raider pistol any. So I've used it as this. I might take this off and epoxy it onto something. This is just hot glue, so it's nothing permanent, although it is enough hot glue to hold it on. Like I said, it gets great ranges, and it's very easy to pull the trigger. So this will be this will definitely be very nice on really anything that I want to put it on. Um, I'm soon, very, soon enough, I'm going to be putting a minute mod on how to do a power stock, so look for that. And the viewer question for today is Orange Mod Works, which you should know them. Orange Mod Works is doing a um, a couple deals. A you get a promotional code for four dollars off your purchase, and if you pre-order the massacre kits by October thirtieth then you get a, with the exclusion of the recon, you get a free steel trigger, which is awesome. I'll post a link to their site in the description, but, or right here, probably, right there. But um, I'll be getting, if I do get one, I'll get it for my Halloween Raider. So my viewer question is, should I get it? It'll be roughly $37. So should I get it or should I get something like the Praxis with an extra clip? Um, this will be a now or never deal because the pre-order bonus only lasts till the 30th. So yeah, that's my question. Post your link. Like I said, I'll post a link in that tutorial box and if you want, please feel free to post your ideas with what you think I should do in the comments below. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.